the problem that we are going to discuss today is minimum popping the problem appeared in may 21 starters and has a difficulty level of easy the problem statement goes as follows we are given a double ended queue which is named as q and initially it contains a total of m elements that is from q1 to qm also it is given that each of these elements is an integer between 1 and n inclusive and the each of those integers from 1 to n occurs at least once in the given queue so what is our task in this question now we want to pop some elements from this queue from the front end and from the back end such that among all the popped elements each of these integers between 1 and n should appear at least once so we have to find the smallest possible total number of elements that we need to pop so let's understand this better using an example so here i have a queue with me where there are total 10 elements so m is equals to 10 and all the elements lie between 1 to 4 hence the value of n is 4 so i need to pop elements from the left hand side and from the right hand side such that they contain all the elements from 1 to n at least once and also the number of popped elements should be as minimum as possible so you can see that the answer in this case comes out to be 5 one possible way to pop five elements can be that i pop four from the left end and these four elements from the right end so you can see that all the elements 1 2 3 and 4 are present in my popped elements and also 5 is the least number of elements that i need to pop if you can uh, pause the video and try by yourself you will find that you cannot do the operation in less than 5 uh, number so hence the answer for this case is 5 so that is our task in this question we just need to report this minimum number of elements that need to be popped now before beginning the solution approach let me simplify the problem statement for you guys so even though the problem statement mentioned that we have to pop the elements from front and from back we are not actually going to perform those operations rather i am going to remodel the statement as we have to find some prefix of the given array and some suffix of the given array such that all the elements from 1 to n are present in this prefix and suffix combined and at the same time the length of prefix and the length of suffix is minimized because if we are popping the elements from the front it means that we are taking some prefix of the array and from the back it means that we are taking some suffix of the array hence i have remodeled the question and i'll be using the same terms that is prefix and suffix for explaining my solution approach so now we know that the given array contains a total of m elements and the answer that we are going to get is going to be some prefix plus some suffix of the given array now what can be the possibilities for the length of the prefix either the prefix can be of length 0 or of length 1 2 and at max it can be including all elements that is all the m elements so for each of these prefix lengths i need to find what is the optimal suffix length like for example i am taking prefix is equals to 0 it means that i have i am not including any element in my prefix okay so if i am not including any element in the prefix it means that all the elements have to be taken from the right hand side that means that i need the element 1 from right hand side 2 3 and 4 so this is going to be my suffix of length as you can see clearly 6 so 6 will come over here and as you can see the total length prefix plus suffix is going to be 6 so this was the case when we are not taking any element in prefix now for prefix equals to 1 it means that i am including one element from the left hand side so 4 is included from the left hand side it means that i don't need to include 4 in my suffix so what i can do is that i can remove 4 from my earlier suffix so if i remove 4 from my earlier suffix my suffix get shortened down and now as you can see that only four elements are present in this suffix so the number 4 will come over here and their sum 1 plus 4 is total equal to 5 
so in this manner for all possible prefix length if we find the optimal suffix length then we get the total length of the popped elements and what is going to be our answer it is definitely going to be one of these but which one the one having the minimum total so at each point of time we will keep a track which one is minimum whether 6 is minimum or 5 is minimum and so on and whatever is the minimum number we will store it somewhere else and at the end when the whole process is over we will output the minimum number. Now let us see how to implement the following so that we optimally get the suffix length. So the first thing that we need to do is find the last index of each numbers. So we have the numbers from 1 to n as you can see over here 1, 2, 3 and 4. So what are the last index of these numbers in the array? So 1 is present last at index 9, 2 is present last at index 8, similarly 3 at 6 and 4 at 4. So if I am taking a prefix of length 0, it means that all these last index should be included in my answer. That is index 9 should be included in my suffix, index 8, index 6 and index 4. Hence the answer for prefix is equal to 0. I can write over here prefix suffix total. So if prefix is of length 0 that is no element from the left then from the right hand side at least these many elements should be taken. So what is the count? The count is total 6. So 0 plus 6 you can see that the total is 6. So this is our one possible answer not the minimum but one of the possible answers. So these indices what you have to do is basically you have to store this index index 4, 6, 8 and 9 in a set. So what happens if you store them in a set they will be in an ordered manner like this. So 4, 6, 8 and 9 and easily if this is your set let's say ht then you can see the smallest element of the set is 4. And how many elements are present from index 4 to the last index? It is simply n minus 4. Sorry, m minus 4. So what, is, what was m? m was the total number of elements that is in this case 10. So 10 minus 4 is 6. Hence you got the length of suffix as 6. So this was a simple demonstration of how we calculated the answer for prefix length is equal to 0. Now let's see that how to calculate the answer for prefix length is equals to 1. So for prefix length is equals to 1 definitely the prefix length is 1 so I will write it over here. Suffix length we don't know because now it is going to change and definitely one number from the left is going to be included in our answer. So the number that we just included was 4. Hence we don't anymore require the number 4 in our suffix. So how to remove the number 4 from our suffix? Look at our table. What is the last index corresponding to 4? It is 4, right? So if this index, index 4 is present in my set, what you do is that you remove this index from my set. So now you can see that only 3 numbers remain in my set, 6, 8 and 9. Similarly, I will make the change above as well. So if I remove this from here, only three numbers now remain that is index 6, index 8 and index 9. And again to find the length of the new suffix what you do is that just see what is the smallest element in my set and do m minus that element. So m minus 6 is 10 minus 6 which is equals to 4. So the suffix length that you will get over here is 4. So 1 plus 4 is equals to 5. You got your new suffix length. Similarly when we include two elements in our prefix what will happen is that so the changes will be like uh, now one more element is included so the prefix length will be now 2 so I will just change this to 2 suffix length I again don't know so let me just remove all this again ok and which is the new, ele new element that I have included the newest element is 2 so I don't need the element 2 in my suffix so how to remove that from my suffix? Again, have a look at our table. 
what is the last index of 2 last index of 2 is 8 so if this index 8 is present in my set you remove that from the set so if you remove that only two index remain 6 and 9 so if i make the change above as well it does not affect my suffix because i did not remove the smallest element from the set so still the suffix length is going to be 4 so again here suffix length is going to be 4 and the answer is 6 so this is the process as in each step you are including one element in your prefix and then removing that element from the suffix if possible if it is already removed no problem nothing is going to change now for example if my prefix length is 4 so what will happen in that case the first four elements will be present right and the latest element is going to be 3 so i need to remove 3 from my suffix so again i look at my table the index is 6 i am going to remove 6 from my set so 6 is removed from my set and now you can see that the only single index that remains is 9. So the changes if I make it over here as well, you will see that only one element remains in the suffix. So in that case, how will our prefix plus suffix look like? It will be prefix will be of length 4, suffix will be of length 1 and the total is length 5. So in this manner, can't we calculate the answer for all possible prefix that is first of all prefix equals to 0 then 1 then 2 all the way up to m and at each step we also have the total length that is the prefix length plus suffix length just maintain the minimum of these all and output the answer so this was the implementation part the only thing that you need to observe is that the you need to maintain a set for the suffix so that easily you can just check the smallest element of the set to get the suffix length. That's it. Now let's move to the C++ implementation. So the implementation goes as follows. First I take the input for number of test cases and then for each test case I take the input of n and m. So m is the length of my array. So I create my array and also the map for maintaining the last index of each number. So I am taking the each number as input that is ARR of i and also maintaining its last index. So last index of ARR of i is nothing but i. So in that manner my map will maintain the last index. Now I create my set which is going to be very useful for this suffix and then initially for prefix length is equals to 0 I create this set. So all the last index of all numbers are inserted into my set and the answer for prefix is equals to 0 is basically 0 plus m minus beginning of the set. So answer I am writing it as m minus st dot begin. Now one by one I check the answer for, for prefix is equals to 1, prefix is equals to 2 all the way up to prefix is equals to m. So first of all I see that whatever is my current number that I am including in my uh, prefix if that number's last index is present in my set, I erase that index from the set. And now, if the set is not empty, then the length of the suffix is definitely m minus ht dot begin and length of the prefix is i plus 1. So I minimize my answer as answer is equal to minimum of answer comma prefix length plus suffix length. And if the set is empty, it means that I have no suffix left only thing is the prefix so answer is equals to minimum of answer comma i plus 1 here i plus 1 is the prefix length so in this manner I calculate the answer for all the i that is i is equals to 0 to i is equals to m minus 1 and hence as at each point the length of prefix is i plus 1 my prefix length it goes from 1 2 3 all the way up to m and all the possible answers are calculated and always I am maintaining the minimum answer and finally when all the operations are done I just output the minimum answer. So the implementation was pretty easy only thing that you need to maintain a map for the last index and a set for the suffix and always the beginning element of the set will help you find the length of the suffix. Now if you found this difficult don't worry you can learn these concepts 
on codechef at competitive programming tutorials like uh, all these topics on competitive programming like backtracking binary research binary trees everything there is to teach is present over here on our website you can head to over here and watch these lectures for free also if you want even more structured content opt for our plus subscription on unacademy where you can use my referral code darshan code 25 to get instant 10% discount